Gyms all over Florida being forced to shut their doors. Many are looking toward a new way to hold their fitness classes. News 13's Courtney Mims tells us how they're making the switch to virtual workout sessions. Many local gyms didn't want to say goodbye to their members when they were shut down on Friday. Um, I was heartbroken, but I just said we've got to somehow stay together. We've got to still engage. I can't be without my group for so long. Gyms like Fitness Junkie and The Sweat Shack had to change their setup and go virtual. Just love that I have the ability, obviously, yes, of course, to do this and to keep up with them and contact and to yell at them to go harder and <laughs> squeeze that button. <laughs> Many local gyms are offering a wide variety of virtual classes, so you don't have to be someone who goes to the gym a lot to participate. People don't want to try step because they are like, I need to learn the moves before I come because I feel uncomfortable, I don't know it. And I was like, well, this is a perfect opportunity. You can do it at home, and then I'll see you in two weeks, and we'll do it in the gym. <laughs> Both gyms are glad to still be able to meet with their workout families, even if it's only through a computer screen. I know we're all, we're all gonna get through this, just like we did after Hurricane Michael. I feel like because of Hurricane Michael, Everyone in this community already knows how to handle these situations, and I think we're going to come out even stronger than we were before. Both gyms are offering different types of workout sessions. To see more information for classes, go to our website, mypanhandle.com. In Panama City Beach, Courtney Mims, News 13, Panhandle Strong.